Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. One of the most common questions we've gotten over the last few years from non-farmers is, what is vertical tillage? Farmers are talking about vertical tillage. I have no idea what that means. Well, actually, even on our farm, there's a couple of different definitions of what right. we're doing with vertical tillage. And basically, what we're talking about is uh, tillage tools that are going straight up and down for the most part. When guys say vertical tillage, what they mean is a coulter cart of some sort. So we're using coulters to do the tillage. So it's not the heavy, turning over all the soil, rather it's slicing up residue and maybe turning over just a little bit of soil out in the field. So whether it's a Salford or a Twister or there are a number of different other pieces that are in this category of vertical tillage like that, but then there's the vertical tillage that Darren and I will sometimes talk about too that's deeper in the soil where we're running out there with straight shanks going about 20 inches deep in the ground. We have been doing that with a brilliant zone commander on our farm for many years. So two different types of things when vertical tillage is discussed, but most commonly today it's the coulter machine. Okay, so what the purpose is running this coulter machine through fields, many farmers across the country have tried to reduce the amount of tillage they're doing as much as possible for a few reasons. First of all, when you're reducing tillage, you're leaving a little more of the residue on top of the ground. That helps protect against erosion, and that is really a big goal for pretty much every farm that I'm aware of. We don't want to lose our topsoil and leaving a little bit more residue residue on the soil surface protects us against heavy rainfall and any kind of washing that can happen and also it protects us against wind. So we like leaving a little more residue on top, but we need that residue to break down eventually. We don't want to just have this thick mat of residue out there that won't allow our next crop to get up. So by doing this vertical tillage with the coulters, we can chop up the pieces of residue so we can move them around and get them out of the way. So we can move them like with a row cleaner on our planter. So we can have a nice clean strip where our crop can emerge from the ground and also we can stir some soil up onto that residue and whenever we have soil that also has bacteria in it, which can help break down the residue more quickly. The point is we want to have a warmer seed bed in the spring. That's really what this all comes back to. But we also want to not have a lot of compaction out there because most tillage tools in the past, like the disc, for example, well, discs are used to build roads, okay? They're designed to create compaction and yet farmers run them out in fields. Well, what do you think is going to happen? We're going to have issues where the roots don't go down very deep in the soil. So the idea is to have some that chops up the residue, gets some soil out there, helps warm the soil a little bit without creating all that compaction. And what people have found is by running these coulters up and down, they aren't creating compaction like the disc did in the past. Okay, one other thing that farmers have used this vertical tillage for is just to dry the soil out right before planting. So maybe it's still a little bit wet and sticky out in the spring because uh, you had snow melt, you got some moisture that's held up in residue, whatever the case may be. But you want to get going with planting relatively soon because the temperatures are starting to warm up and maybe the date on the calendar says, hey, the optimal date for planting is this week. I need to get going. You can run that vertical tillage tool through the field, kind of fluff up the soil a little bit, the top few inches anyway, it is easier to warm up the air than it is to warm up water. So by making that soil fluffy in the top few inches, we can warm things up, dry them out a little quicker, and that allows us to get in the field a little bit sooner. The other thing some of the people have said running these vertical tillage tools, and we've been one on our farm too, is that you can kind of fracture a little bit of the compaction that's in the soil down a little deeper than you're running. So you might only be running this machine a couple inches deep into the ground, yet it creates uh, a little slice going down deeper than that, busts up the compaction a little bit, maybe at three, four, six inches deep, something like that and that's a good thing for all of us farmers are trying to reduce compaction out there. All right, so when we talk about vertical tillage, there are a few different things that could fall into this category, but mainly when you hear vertical tillage, we're talking about using coulters that are just going to go down a couple of inches into the soil and chop up some residue, maybe stir a little bit of soil up onto residue so we can still protect our soils from erosion by leaving a lot of the residue on the surface, yet still do a good job getting emergence out of our crops by getting that residue chopped up and warmed up. Well, one of the most important things too, to getting good emergence and having a nice crop is having great weed control. We'll talk about how to control our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.